What's up, Pisces? I'm back with another one. We're shuffling up some cards to see what awaits you in this new astrological year. Um, Pisces has a, a season has officially ended and it has moved officially into Aries as of today, March 20th. And um, if, if you're looking for any like a like a little fresh start or a boost in energy, you're about to get it. You're about to get it. Interesting. I'm not done shuffling yet, so I can't take that, but I wanted to see it. All right. Oh, I saw that. I feel like there's a card that's flipped or something. Uh, I saw that. Am I tripping? Yeah, I'm tripping. I could have sworn I saw a flipped over card. Whatever. All right, let's do this. Pisces in love, five cups, sun card, empress, two of cups. That's insane. There's someone, there's someone in deep regret and they're in regret of, of you, honestly. I think you were the happiest thing in their life. And this is the, this is the empress card. This is, this is huge. This person, and to confirm that, here we go. Two cups. This person has a deep regret, deep, deep, deep regret in losing you. They want something with you. They're in despair. So we got the eight of coins. So someone, there's this person's working on an offer. Whoever it is coming back to you. And the offer is for you, queen of cups, straight Pisces, or just water energy in general, right? Queen of Wands, and then the Pis another Pisces card, which is not the Moon card, which is our actual card, but um, the Hangman is definitely a Pisces card because we tend to be <laughs> more enlightened spiritually than the rest of our Zodiac sign um, comrades, you know? And so it seems like this person is looking to make an offer towards you, and they definitely are, are seeing you as this abundant, charming person that has it all. So I think they're intimidated by you, is what I'm getting. Yeah, star card, Aquarius energy, two of wands, judgment card, nine of cups. Someone is watching you and they want to come back. So this is the star card, wish fulfillment. Then we have the um, two, of, two of wands. As you can see, this person is looking out. They're looking at the world. To me, this is like if... if if this person was holding something that symbolized a smartphone, do you understand the internet, just the world? The look they have in the palm of their hand, which does signify that they have probably some, a lot to offer, but this is more indicative of how they are viewing you. So this could be metaphorical or this could be in real world that they are looking at you on social media or whatever. We got the judgment card. This is telling you someone from the past, they wanna, they wanna awaken something from the dead that used to be there. And we got the Nine of Cups. They're certainly feeling confident. They're feeling confident about coming to you. Um, they feel like they have a lot to offer now, whereas before they might not have. They literally might have not had the time, the space, the emotional capacity, emotional availability to be what you needed. Um, I'm feeling that this was not necessarily a past relationship. It could have been a situationship where you guys might have been about to get things off the ground, but then they just kind of fell apart. Okay, and that's not, <laughs> it's not fun either. So we got the Queen of Pentacles, the Fool card, the King of, of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. So what this is telling me is that you are the one that made this offer to this person. You did. And they basically swatted that away. This is them. This is the King of Swords. So you can see this person, you have a lot to offer and you were very like willing, vulnerable, vulnerable, right? You took a leap of faith with this fool card. Not that you were a fool. It's just that this person, as you can see, it's about to take like a leap of faith. They have a bag with them. They're kind of like, they're caution to the wind kind of vibe, right? And this person came, gave you, they gave you some kind of truth or reality check or something, but they rejected you. 
And I know this because this is you. Nine of Swords. That came out right after the King of Swords. So I'm getting the story of what happened. Now that I'm, because I was in my head, I was like, well, why is this person coming back now? What did they do? And, and if this is giving me, the reader, a lot of, a lot of context. All right, let's do, let's, um, Spirit, tell me to shuffle a little bit and then pull some more. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. All right, Eight of Cups, Two of Swords, the Devil card, and the Four of four Wands. This person's coming back to you. This person's coming back to you, but I feel like on their path coming back to you, they continuously, they're being slowed down by something. And it's definitely some kind of toxic energy because the Devil card came out after this. And what's sad, what's, they're in conflict between wanting this like happy life with you this four of wands four walls right home stability life home life right but they are battle they're at an they're at an impasse so as they've made their way back to you they're encountering this they're realizing oh shit i got some demons to battle because I, I, i'm this as much as i want this right this is in my way so that's what they're going through if you are not speaking Seven of Swords. Mm. Yeah. This is what they're battling, because I'm wondering too, and this is what they're battling. This is what came out. So Seven of Swords, with this sneaky ass energy. Because this was them, this was their whole vibe, right? And I think you see that now after you walked away. Not only that, but they weren't offering you much you were certainly a choice to them. So this person, you see that you're holding one, really behind the scenes, they, you know, they had other options and they're coming with this false offer. Like it's, this looks like a blessing, something coming out of the sky, like action being taken, but it's a false action that was taken as far as their pursuit of you, their vulnerability with you. You dodged the bullet, but when, uh, how are they coming back spirit? transformed wanting to renew have a greater offer stronger offer they're coming back humble so they're coming back humble as fuck scorpio energy with the death card but that's definitely when i you know the question i just asked here we go they they've transformed they've transformed completely they they really saw the way they were and was like this ain't it this ain't it do you understand so here we go with the Scorpio, with the, with the um, death card, um, regeneration, transformation. They're wanting to transform whatever happened with you guys. And I, I, they feel very awfully confident about it because they have this, this renewed strength, this new truth that's come out, this, this ace of swords. And remember how we had that little pussy of a fucking, of a fucking um, page of, of, of pentacles with a stupid ass offer? Look at that little cocksucker honestly this person but they look more thoughtful about this offer that they're making right truly considering it it's a bit slow moving in energy but i mean <laughs> the humbled usually don't don't speed walk <laughs> if i'm being honest the humble do not speed walk so this person's been humbled because they're realizing wow i have to come back to pisces pisces isn't going to come back to me and this is what i mean by humbled is this 10 of wands that came out this is their journey back to you. This is as they're coming back as this. They're coming back as transformed, having a new purpose, a newfound truth that they want to give to you, a, a, a solid offer that they've truly considered and put thought into. And they're coming back humbled. I'd like to know more about this person. I'd like to know more about this person. King of Pentacles, definitely super wealthy. Oh, oh, high priestess energy. That's you, baby. Ooh. This person is a bit more enlightened, I'll tell you that. 
tell you that. These are the four that came out. Okay. So right now they're doing rather well financially. They have a lot to offer you. They have a lot to offer you. This is your energy, but I'm feeling that they're emulating this as well, this high priestess energy as far as just um, being more uh, grounded, centered, knowledgeable, uh, self-aware of their spiritual path and, and all that. More enlightened, right? Um, they're definitely like stalking and watching and waiting. Like they're really wondering, okay, do I text them? Do I write them? What? How do I approach them? Do I DM them? Do if I see them on a dating site, should should that be? You know what? Should I download a dating site and see if I find them? Like this person is literally trying to figure out because they're looking, they're looking for you and at you. When we pulled that card earlier, they they already know how to reach you, so they know your socials, okay? Like as far as your social media and all that stuff, but they just don't know how they should come about doing that. And you can tell that this offer that they're trying to give you is on their mind, their heart and leading them in whatever direction that is needed this is gonna i mean it's definitely a faded reconnection of some sort it's like a situation ship so we'll see I, I don't know all right let's pull four more five of pentacles the lover's card three of pentacles ten of swords person's afraid of being put out they're afraid you're going to do this to them they really are and you see these are two people man and woman right um so this is them here and they're all out but then here we have these divine kind of do you understand like there's trying and I, we talked about that transformation earlier and it seems like that's what's happening they want to work with you they don't know if it's going to work out look at this person here this person looks kind of startled or concerned by how they're coming in. They don't know how you're going to perceive them. Boom. Look how the tables turn. Remember how you were once upon a time. Where was it? It wasn't in here. Here it is. You were once upon a time in the Nine of Swords. Mm. Mira, que pasó? Look at this person. I'm just saying. I'm going to keep pulling. I'm being led to just keep pulling for you. Take a sip of my drink. Knight of Wands, options. Yeah, they think you have. They, they think you have options. They don't think you're going to, going to want to give equally to this at all. So we've got the the Knight of Wands here. A lot of hesitancy because of the fact that they think you have a lot of options, and this this makes sense to them. This is justice to them. They're like, well, of course, Pisces would be taken up, or probably is. Do you understand? And they're just wanting to give in equal. They think this is balance. Look, is this this person's holding the balancing skills, right? Look who is too. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like this person's hella insecure. Is there anything else you want to tell us about this? I'm being told to shuffle a little bit more. That's fine with me. Oh, that flipped in the deck. Wow, magician card, wanting a new start. Also, this is Major Arcana, so this came out just for me to be able to give you this message, right? Just to be able to tell you what is going on. Hermit card, Knight of, of Wands, or not Knight, King of Wands, and the Five of Swords. This person is wanting a new beginning and they are making their way back to you. They're in Herman mode. They're not seeing anyone. They're not dating anyone. They're not dating anyone. anyone. They're feeling confident, but they're not dating anyone. I think this person might have a big dick, by the way. Um, but they're ready to walk away from anything that's standing in their way to you. Because they're making their way back to you and they're watching and, and, and studying the situation. Because when they come in, they don't want to fail. They don't want to fumble this. They already fumbled you once. And thank God it wasn't enough on the record to where they felt like they couldn't return. 
Do you understand? Because this isn't, I don't think y'all actually got into a relationship. This ended up being like a situationship or y'all got into the talking stages and it just simply didn't work out. And this person's coming back. This person, if you got something like this going on, they might have already contacted you. So what does this person want to say? Wheel of Fortune, New Cycles, the Moon card, that's you. Eight of Swords, Strength card. So when they talk to you, I think they're going to talk about several things. Personally, because with the Wheel of Fortune here, they want a new cycle. Also, this is confirming everything that I said. Because I'm getting major arcanas, which to me is the spirit's validation of, yes, what you are saying is completely spot on or very similar, if not, you know, right there with what's going on with this person you're trying to give a message to. And this person wants a new cycle with you. They want a new cycle with you. They see that with you. This is the moon card. This is Pisces card. The official number one Pisces card is the moon card, okay? But this also means like unknown things. But I also like that you're both, you know, there's two people, you're both, you know, I'm just got to go with it. You're both howling at the moon. Together. I don't know. And then we've got the eight of swords. So the eight of swords for me in this, this is completion. This is completion of some kind of binding, some kind, something that was going on. Some, you needed to go through this of some sort. Or they did. They did. They needed to go through this too. It's not just you that needed to go through this. They needed to go through this too. Just a heads up, I'm also getting Leo energy in here. So I'm getting Leo, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Taurus. Um, did we get Gemini? We did get Gemini, yes. We did get Gemini. Any other messages? What about the tower moment? Ooh, this person experienced a tower moment in their life. Hmm. All right, I'm being told I can't really get into that. They're going to talk to you about it. They they definitely got into a tower moment while in your absence. They really did. They 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 encountered a tower. It wasn't just the loss of you. There was other things that after they stopped talking to you, they thought they were going to like the right thing and they were not. They were making bad choices for themselves as, as in love, but in general. And it really made them think, made them realize, wow, what have I been doing? What do I really want in life? And, and, and was that ever available to me? And when they asked themselves that question, you were the first person that came to mind. All right, well, that's what I got for you, Pisces.